Glory Divine World Ministries is a place to call home. Come and allow God to unleash your potential, purpose, and destiny. The way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through Him and through the blood of Jesus. Because of His unconditional love, hallelujah, He sent His only begotten Son, and that is Jesus Christ, to die so He can reconcile Himself to you. to come and be a part of our glory divine family you never choose jesus he chose you welcome to glory divine network tv with your host apostle ryan suknanan let's get ready to listen to the divinely inspired word of god heavenly father we pray heavenly father let your spirit come and take rightful place father we thank you, Lord, for your word, Heavenly Father, that is going to fall into a fertile ground, Heavenly Father. We thank you that the service will be blessed, Father God, and those that are watching online, they'll be blessed, and everyone who's still coming to watch, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you that when the praises goes up, yes, Father, Lord. your glory yes, will come down. God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give all praise and glory and honor in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah, amen. 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 Church of God, I greet you all in the mighty, the powerful, awesome name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. On behalf of our spiritual parents, Apostle Ryan and Lady Nisha, we'd love to welcome each and every one of you to Glory Divine World Ministries, a place to call home. Amen. Hallelujah. We also like to extend a warm welcome to the online viewers. This is Glory Divine, a place to call home. This is Divine Connection, where Hallelujah. we're connecting tonight with the Lord in the, in the presence of an almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to hear from the Lord this evening? Amen. Amen. Do we have anybody in the house of God here for the first time? We'd love to welcome you. If you're here for the first time, please raise your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're online, you can also raise your hand. We'll, we'll feel you in spirit. Amen. Are you ready to rejoice, church of God? Amen. Are you ready, church? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh 
circumstances hallelujah just keep the light on the Lord Jesus Christ praise the Lord church of God you may take, take your seats for a moment amen hallelujah. one more time repeat after me God is good and all the time praise his holy name hallelujah church of God I'm going to be sharing an offering this morning hallelujah or this evening my apologies amen if you have your offering in your hand this evening can you just have it in your hand hold it in Jesus' name, hallelujah. The scripture reading that I'm going to be doing is from Hebrews 6. It's from verse 13 to 14. It's for, it says, For when God made a promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself saying, Surely, listen to this, Surely, blessing I will bless you, and multiplying, I will multiply you. Hallelujah. If God blessed Abraham and said to Abraham, I will multiply you. How much more who, who we are children of God will God multiply in our, in our bosom. Hallelujah. If you have your offering, church of God, just hold it in your hand and pray with us this evening. For those of you that are online, the banking details will appear on screen. Repeat after me. Close your eyes. Hallelujah. God. I come to you in Jesus' name, and I pray this offering that I have, you will multiply it as per, as per your word. Strengthen us, Father God. Let us be a blessing unto your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. Can somebody give God a praise offering? Hallelujah. Shall we all stand forth? Church of God, if you have your offering, can you please come forward and sow into the basket? Hallelujah. Remember that you are sowing in fertile soil. Glory divine is fertile soil. Hallelujah. Again, those of you that are online, the banking details will appear on screen. I pray that you are blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord my provider, he keeps on doing great things. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord my provider, He keeps on doing great things. Oh, He keeps on, He keeps on doing great things. Hallelujah, He keeps on doing great things. He keeps on, He keeps on, He keeps on doing great things. Hallelujah, He keeps on doing great things. Jehovah Baba, he keeps on doing great things in the midst of every battle that we may face he's always there and he's always doing great things hallelujah Amen. praise be his holy name just like God let's go to, into a time of worship and open up our hearts unto the Lord
because God wants our hearts he doesn't want anything else he wants our hearts he wants us to sacrifice ourselves unto him as he sacrificed himself unto us and through him all things are possible let us just give ourselves to the Lord give your situation give your circumstances unto the Lord and pray that God will make a way where there seems to be no way Jehovah is your name Jehovah is your of joy blessed be your name dear god lord have your way with us let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven we thank you god that we are gathered here to call upon the name that is above every name jesus i want to thank you god and praise you this evening father we thank you oh jesus you are our savior our lord you are mighty in battle we worship you god oh thank you jesus Bless your name.
salvación de Father, we bless your name. We bless your name. Father, we worship you tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. We glorify and we magnify your name this evening, O oh God. We give you all the glory. We lift up your name, O oh God, because thou art enthroned. We know, O oh God, that you are a burden bearer, a problem solver, O oh God. Fill our hearts with joy this evening, O oh God. Lift up every burden, every weight, O oh God, from our shoulders. Lord, we pray for your anointing to come upon us, your glory to fall upon us, O oh God. Saturate us with your presence. We pray, Holy Spirit, and we invite you. Come with all thy power, all thy strength, all thy might this evening, O oh God. Lord, you know us. You know the very problems and the issues that we are facing. Every mountain in our part, O oh God. You know us intimately. As our faces defer, so our needs, my God. But thank you tonight, O oh God, that you are going to meet us at the point of our need. You are going to shoulder our burdens because your word says, O oh God, cast our cares upon you because you care it for us. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. No tongues raised shall stand, O oh God. If you are for us, who can be against us? When we go through the waters, it shall not flood us. When we go through the fire, it shall not burn us, O oh God. When we go through the valley, we shall come out on the other side. You said, fear not, for you have redeemed us, O oh God. You have a plan to prosper us and not to harm us. And tonight we give our hands, our weak hands into your hands, O oh God. We come to your altar and we bow down. We rest our case into your hands, O oh God. You are Jehovah Gamola, the God that fights our battle. We don't have to face the battle anymore, O oh God. You said at the cross it is finished, O oh God. Our victory, our prosperity, our healing has been accomplished at the cross. We receive it tonight, O oh God. Church, just put your hands up and receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough because God's word is a and amen. He holds his word above his name. Jeremiah 1 12, he said, I watch my word to perform. Isaiah 55 verse 11, he says, my word will not return empty. It shall accomplish his word is a lamp unto our feet. And every darkened path be cleared tonight. Every obstacle, every stoppages, every blockages, every constraints, every restraints from your part be removed by the fire of God, by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus prevails. There's no power greater than the blood of Jesus. And we thank you for tonight, O oh God, for every person that has come. We commit ourselves, those that are online, we commit ourselves into your hands. Visit us, O oh God. Speak to us tonight. Let there be a rhema word tonight uh, that will speak to our situation, that will individually isolate us and speak to us, encourage us, transform us, enlighten us, direct us, rebuke us, chasten us, O oh God. Let your will be done in our lives. I commit this service into your hands. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Apply the blood of Jesus over the congregation, over the online viewers, over myself. Lord, use me to minister your word. Thus says the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You may be seated. Amen. Let's give the leadership, the praise and worship a hand. Give yourself a hand to be in the presence of God.
Glory to God. God is good. Amen. It's good to see so many of you. I know the roads are blocked and uh, the robots are not working. And it took me half an hour just to get about 30, you know, not even two kilometers from, from down to up here because of the traffic. But thank God that I leave early, so I'm still early. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I welcome everybody in the presence of God. I welcome anybody new. Amen. My sister, will you stand? Let's welcome her. Amen. Are you, are you Rizala Khan? Amen. Welcome. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Church, I want to get into the Word of God, and I believe God is going to speak to you. I want to speak to you on a title, You Can Make It in Life. Hallelujah. You can make it in life. Say, I'm going to make it in life. Glory to God. The Bible says in Psalms 23 verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Now, looking at the life of David, hallelujah, David continuously experienced warfare. Hallelujah. Some of you may be going through warfare right now, spiritual warfare, warfare at your workplace, warfare in your health, warfare in your marriage. You know, you are constantly going through warfare in your life. Hallelujah. When your life is for a higher purpose, for a greater purpose, then your warfare is at a higher level. Hallelujah. Because God has something great planned for you in the future and the enemy wants to stop you from achieving it so sometimes warfare is twofold one fold is where the enemy comes and put roadblocks stoppages blockages in your path so that you don't walk in your destiny you give up you quit you throw in the towel and live an average and a mediocre life or god allows certain testing to come your way opposition comes your way because there is some great potential inside of you only testing that molds your character and develops you so that you go through a process it refines you and equips you to sit in the throne that god has for you so it is twofold so we got to understand sometimes you just got to lift up your hands and just worship god when things don't make sense even when you are confused just lift up your hands and just praise god so we see david continuously experienced warfare because there was a higher level there was a greater purpose in his life so god has a plan and a purpose for every one of you remember that nobody is created to be a nobody hallelujah Nobody is a mistake. You maybe made a mistake in your life, but nobody is a mistake. God is counting on you. Say, God is counting on me. Hallelujah. Because I can make it in life. Glory to God. So don't let the enemy sabotage your destiny. There are many people that wanted to be in church today, but they are not here because the enemy stepped in to sabotage them. Hallelujah. Amen. To stop them from coming and listening to the word of God. So when we look at David, hallelujah, amen. He went through continuous warfare because he had a purpose in life. Say, I have a purpose in life and it shall be fulfilled. No devil in hell, no demon, whether his mother or father, whoever is going to stop you from achieving purpose. You have came thus far. You are in an anointed meeting. You are under the glory. The anointing of God is here that destroys yoke. So I pray that your path is being cleared right now. Hallelujah. In the spiritual realm so that you can walk in free access so provision can come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometime you can be at the right place at the right time at the divine moment orchestrated by God and suddenly your path opens up in the mighty name of Jesus. May it be a divine appointment upon your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's look at the God of second chance. Our God is a God of second chance, sometime third chance, fourth chance. Hallelujah. 
So if you are listening to me, then God is giving you a second chance this evening. Jesus Christ was from the lineage of David. Hallelujah. Listen to me very carefully. Jesus Christ was from the lineage of David. That is why the devil wanted to kill the destiny of David. Hallelujah. Amen. So the enemy wanted to kill David because he was a man of destiny. Some of you are going through severe testing and trials because the enemy cannot read your mind, but he can read the signs. I said the enemy cannot read your mind, but he can read the signs. When you come to church, you are in a stable environment. You are in a word-based church. You are faithful in serving God. Hallelujah. The enemy knows the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to be blessed because you are un, not unstable. Hallelujah. So he will try to unstable you. He will try to destabilize you with his gimmicks and Mickey Mouse stuffs. Hallelujah. By causing sickness and causing pain and disturbance and, and, and making you get offended with people and a whole lot of things. Hallelujah. For you to stay at home and stop coming and being faithful and stable so he can destabilize you and stop the blessing that is on its way. Say, I am stable. I am immovable. I am abounding in the Lord and nothing can shift me from serving my Lord and being faithful to my Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So the enemy wants to kill your destiny. Hallelujah. He is not after your money. He is not after your health. He's got the whole world's money in his hands. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the God of this world. Amen. So he is after the lineage and the legacy that you are about to birth. He's after your generations. Hallelujah. If, you can, if he can kill you right now, he can kill the legacy that you are about to leave. He can kill your generation, your grandkids that is going to change the world. Your grandkid can be somebody that will change and make history. Hallelujah. He's trying to cut your generation. He's trying to cut your legacy. He's not after your money. Hallelujah. He's got all the resources of this world. Hallelujah. Inside you are locked generations. Hallelujah. Amen. He wanted to kill me when I became a Christian 30 years or 31 years ago. Hallelujah. Somebody hit me with a bolt, uh, broke my skull, and I nearly died. Hallelujah. Somebody came right next to me about uh, 30 years ago and shot me. Dua, 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 dua. The only thing, my wife and you know, all had the gunshots uh, and the bullet just went through, went through. He wanted to kill me 30 years ago so and to shut Glory Divine World Ministry. But thank God the protection of God was there. Hallelujah. That Glory Divine now is international all over the world. People are being blessed with this ministry. Hallelujah. He is after your legacy. He is after your generation. But the blood of Jesus is over you. Oh, God's angels are protecting you. No harm and danger shall come to you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No tongues raised shall stand. If God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. Be God be the glory. If he can tempt you more, if he can make you hopeless, if he can make you question God, if he can make you to postpone a God appointment, if he can make you and give you a toothache to stay away from the presence of God, if he can make you sick, if he can make you go back on your commitment, if he can, hallelujah, amen, break stuffs in your life where your car breaks down and you're just about to come to church, your geezer packs up uh, or some pipe breaks uh, he just know he has accomplished his purpose hallelujah if I was you I will go and close the meter hallelujah and make sure I am in the house of God as long as there's no leak in my house uh, I know that I am in the presence of God I have put the enemy under my feet uh, he has tried his tricks uh, but it shall not come to pass uh, because greater is he that is in me 
than he that is in the world. I am determined. I am focused. I am steadfast. I am stable. I am committed to serve my Lord. If God is my source, money is my slave. If God is my source, health is my slave. If God is my source, promotion is my slave. Because the Bible says, goodness and mercy shall follow me and they shall overtake me as long as I am on the lane of God. Hallelujah. Beware of his tricks. Beware of his tricks when it comes to the house of God and time to worship God. He will always come to destabilize you. Hallelujah. If he can dangle pleasure and enticement, if he can cause an argument with your wife or your husband or your children, hallelujah. If he can amuse or arouse your emotions with anger, hallelujah. If he can get another urgent meeting to override your God appointment if he can make hallelujah to believe some other people's doctrine and errors hallelujah if he can make you believe you have reached your full potential and there's nothing more to go how you become complacent hallelujah in the name of Jesus he will accomplish his purpose you gotta understand you can make it in life but you got to decide, you got to stand up and say, I am created for more. I am created for great exploits. I am not here to, to live an average and a mediocre life. I am not here to stretch out my hands to nobody. I am not here to beg for what, hallelujah, God has already blessed me with. It is coming to me. As long as I seek it first, the kingdom of God and all these things shall come to me in Jesus name glory to God let's look at David David battled weakness David battled lust hallelujah amen he watched Bathsheba bathing and lust got a hold of him he was instrumental in killing Bathsheba's husband hallelujah Uriah by putting him in the front line just to satisfy his lust and fleshly desires the enemy was really after him to destroy his lineage Hallelujah. So I'm not telling you that everything is going to be rosy and dozy. I'm not going to tell you everything is going to be easy. You are in a fight. Hallelujah. You are in a fight. You are in a fallen world. There is evil spirits out there. There are wicked men out there. They don't like the light shining in you. They will oppose you. Hallelujah. They'll try to tie you up and suppress you. But I'm here to tell you, Jesus said, be of good cheer. I have overcome. You will also overcome. Hallelujah. In him, you are more than a conqueror. In him, you will have victory in him you will have success in him you have the power to destroy the works of the enemy in him you can subject every stronghold of your mind in him you will be overcome you will overcome and go over every hurdles of life you can make it in life but you need the strength of God Revelations 22 verse 16 Revelation 22 verse 16, I Jesus have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. Can you believe this? I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. I am the offspring of David. Jesus is saying to you, do you know? I am the offspring of a man that was lustful. I am the offspring of a murderer. I am the offspring, hallelujah, of a person that took someone else's wife. What I'm trying to get to you tonight, nobody's too far gone for God, hallelujah. Nobody is in a messed up family and born in a messed up family that God cannot change your life. 
Let your past be your past. Hallelujah. Don't let somebody point a finger at you. You are a Christian coming to church on a Sunday. But look at your brother. Look at your sister. Look at your husband. Look at your wife. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you salvation is an individual matter. Glory to God. You know, some people told me a long time ago, I mean, I'm 31 years serving the Lord, 31 years preaching the gospel nonstop. But I come from a gangster family. I come from a family, hallelujah, that were involved in violence and all those things. Hallelujah. Amen. A lot of people told me, I know your family. I know what you were 31 years ago. But I'm here to tell you, who are you speaking about? That man is dead. He went under the water. The dead rhine is under the water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But a new man has risen up 31 years ago and I'm preaching the gospel. All old things have passed away. Behold, everything has become new. Glory to God. Who are you talking about in the mighty name of Jesus? Don't let somebody class you because of your family. Hallelujah. Never, never, never. Don't let anybody class you from today. Say Apostle Ryan has said you that. Empowered by the word of God. And I'm going to prove it from the word of God. Hallelujah. After all these mess of David, and I'm speaking to those online, Jesus was not ashamed to say that he is the offspring of David. Hallelujah. Like David, God's purpose for you is beyond your imagination. Hallelujah. You've got to believe God's purpose for your life. God's destiny for your life. Hallelujah. Beyond your present situation. You might be thinking right now that you're not going to make it. But when God is looking at you, he's looking at you as a successful person. He's looking at you, hallelujah, as somebody that he died and purchased. And he became poor so you can be rich. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus said... Division will start in your own household. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed of your family. As long as you are on the right road. You cannot save nobody. But you can lead people to Jesus. Hallelujah. So I prophesy that no power can kill your destiny. Hallelujah. People are too good to judge. I always say they have a PhD degree. PhD degree, pulling him down and pulling her down, hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you, just look at the Bible. If anybody talks, hey, but look at your father, he's a drunkard. Your mother is this, your brother is this, your brother is that, hallelujah. But you are a Christian, just tell them, go read your Bible. Hallelujah. My salvation is an individual matter. And, and Jesus himself said there will be division in their own house. Father against son. Son against father. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, I did not come to bring peace. I have come to bring division sometime. Hallelujah. But not in the sense uh, where he was talking about the peace that is given to Christians. He's talking about the chaos that's going to happen in your house when you become a Christian. And when the devil starts fighting you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible is full of broken families. But God can change your story. Let's look at Abraham. God chose and called Abraham. And Abraham obeyed God. Hallelujah. He was obedient. He obeyed God. In Egypt. Hallelujah. He walked in Egypt. And fear for Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Amen. He told his wife to pretend to be his sister. Hallelujah. Hey. It was by a bang. Hallelujah. Amen. He gave her to be Pharaoh's wife. And in return, he received cattle and he received servants. Abraham, the father, hallelujah, of nations. Hallelujah. Amen. He was so scared and he gave his own wife, his own wife to Pharaoh to be his wife. Hallelujah. There was problems in his house. Hallelujah. So it was a messed up family. Though he was a man used greatly by God, Sarah's womb was closed. Hallelujah. Sarah had to arrange a slave woman. Hallelujah. For Abraham to bear children. Despite of all this, God still blessed them with a promised child. What am I talking to you? Don't let anybody judge you. Don't let anybody condemn you. As long as your walk with God is right. 
Hallelujah. It's an individual matter. You cannot save your husband. You cannot save your wife. You cannot even save your children. But you can lead them to Christ by the example you lead. Glory to God. Don't be the darkness that will take them into more darkness. Be the light that will shine them to Christ. Hallelujah. But one thing the message today that's hitting home is don't allow somebody to condemn you because of someone else's actions. Hallelujah. Glory. You're going to make it in life. Let's look at Isaac. Hallelujah. Abraham's son. The generational problems of Abraham continued onto Isaac. It continued onto Jacob. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaac married Rebekah and had two kids, Esau and Jacob. Esau was a rough man and Jacob was a mama's boy. Hallelujah. The family was dysfunctional. The family was dysfunctional. Isaac had favoritism. Hallelujah. Esau was a rough man and Jacob was mama's boy. Hallelujah. Amen. The family was dysfunctional. Isaac had favoritism. Hallelujah. He loved Esau and mommy loved Jacob. Look at the division in the home. Hallelujah. The father is loving one son and the mummy mother is loving another son. The family was dysfunctional and the family was divided. Hallelujah. Amen. So imagine the tenseness in the family. Division always caused destruction. Hallelujah. Isaac, the father, was old and he was about to die. He wanted to give his blessing to Esau. Hallelujah. Mummy wanted that blessing to go to Jacob. They planned a deceptive plan and got Isaac to bless Jacob. You'll know what happened. He went outside and he killed a, a goat or a sheep. He took the skin. He put it upon himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Jacob was hairy. And Isaac went to the dying father. And when the father touched him and felt the hair. And the father gave him the blessing. So Esau hated, uh, Esau hated Jacob. And Jacob had to flee. So Jacob got the blessing. Sorry. And, and, and there was division in the home. Dysfunctional family. Dysfunctional family. But God still says, I am the God of Isaac. Abraham. Isaac and Jacob. God says, I'm a, still the God of a dysfunctional family. The reason why I chose this message and the Lord was speaking to me, many of you are ashamed of your family. Hallelujah. You're ashamed and, and the church people judge you. Leave the outside people. The church people judge you. Oh, you're lifting up holy hands. You're serving in the, in the church but look at your husband. Look at your children. What I'm here to tell you, let's pray for them. Hallelujah. Okay, you have to, if you are an elder of the church, there are certain responsibilities. You've got to be a husband of one wife. You've got to have your household in order. There's some, there's a lot of qualities and requirements when you go into higher leadership. I'm an apostle. I need to have my household right. Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm talking to you as a congregation. Hallelujah. Don't let somebody judge you. Your personal, you are not an apostle. You did not come to be a bishop. Hallelujah. You are seated there. You are a congregation. Hallelujah. Nobody's supposed to judge you. You're a child of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. But I stand as an apostle. And if I can't handle my home and my home is all in tatters. Hallelujah. Yes, you have all the right. To tell me, hallelujah, as a bishop of the church, get your house in order. Today, all over the world, everywhere, pastors and bishops and apostles, hallelujah, is messing around their families and they still want to preach to the congregation. So whatever spirit is being transferred onto the congregation, whatever is here, that's a spirit is transferred upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. That is why there's so much of broken families in the church. We need to pray. We need to pray for one another. Hallelujah. So 
may be looking down on yourself right now. You may be ashamed of the thing you have done. You might be saying there is nobody that ever succeeded in your family. You look at your surrounding, the poverty, all that hopelessness and everything that is going on. Hallelujah. I got news for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said, John 19.30, it is finished. Your prosperity has been accomplished. Your poverty, your sickness, your trouble, your problem has been nailed to the cross. On Friday morning, I'll be preaching on that. At half past eight in the morning. Hallelujah. So you will know what is the significance of the, of the provision that Jesus made for you and me at, on the cross. Hallelujah. And as a close, Ephesians 3 verse 20. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Hallelujah. According to the power that works in us. That is a dunamis power. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The power is inside. It is not like cremora on top. Anytime you can switch that power on in the name of Jesus and come against every opposition that you have in your life. Hallelujah. Whatever comes your way, it is not that you have to come and sing three praise songs and two worship songs before you get the power. It is not that you have to run into the house of God and, and hear Apostle Ryan preaching for 45 minutes before you get the power. That power is inside of you. First John 4.4 4, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You got to stand on your feet uh, right there and then, hallelujah, amen, right there. When you walk over here, when you walk in the church, uh, you don't need the worship team, hallelujah, amen, to usher you into the presence of God and for you to experience the anointing. The anointed one is inside of you, hallelujah. You walk with him, you talk with him, wherever you go, you, he's inside of you. When you come to church, you bring him, hallelujah. When you come onto the pulpit here, hallelujah. You don't need a convener to, 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 to electrify you and mechanize you. You just come here and switch on in the name of Jesus and the power and the glory of God saturates you. You have an open heaven. You have an open access in the name of Jesus. You can bring down every walks of the enemy and trample them underfoot and walk in victory in Jesus name. The exceeding power that works in us, the dunamis power. The, uh, in Greek, they say energia. It means energia. It means it's not your power. It's a flowing power. It's a continuous power coming from Emmanuel. Hallelujah. So the more you worship, the more you praise, the more you spend time with God, that power increases. That anointing upon you increases. The glory that surrounds you increases. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. You cannot make yourself right. Don't try to make yourself right. Just go into the presence of God. No matter how messed up with you are. With all your cockroaches and all your cocos and everything. Just keep on coming in the presence of God. The more glory comes upon you, the more the devil runs from you. Hallelujah. The more his furniture leaves you. The more the evil thought leaves you. Just present yourself to God. Let him clean you up. Hallelujah. Some people want to make themselves right before they come into the presence of God. Hallelujah. That will not happen. That will not happen. Hallelujah. Philippians 3 verse 12 and 3 says, Not that I have already attained or I'm already perfected. Say I'm a work in progress. Hallelujah. I'm a work in progress in the mighty name of Jesus. But any work that needs to be completed has to be in the machine. Hallelujah. It has to be in the work line for it to be completed. So that's how you need to be in the hands of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 18, the potter, hallelujah, and the clay. Jeremiah went and watched, hallelujah, a potter shaping the clay into a vase. And after he saw that that vase was all messed up, cracked and things, but it was still in the hands of the potter. And what did the potter do? He made it into a good vase. As long as you are in the hand of the potter, 
the God can repair your cracks in life and present you, hallelujah, amen, as a fragrance to the world. You've got to be in the hands of the potter. So it's not that I have already attained or I'm already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold for me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. And as I close, every one of you that is seated here, every one of you that is watching has a purpose in life. There are things that you can do, I cannot do. And there are things that I can do, you cannot do. Hallelujah. So don't try to Mickey Mouse. Not Mickey Mouse, mimic. Or copy someone else and try to be like someone else. You can use them as mentors. You can use them as role models. But don't be disheartened when you cannot measure up to somebody. Because God has something special for you. God has something special for you. There are things that I can do, you will not do. And there are things that you can do, I will not do. Imagine somebody who's got a size three shoe, trying to wear my size nine shoe and walk. They might be just make the, able to walk a little bit, but if I tell them to run, what, they're going to fall and hurt themselves. They will be so conscious of the shoe and they're running to lift it up it will delay them. So that's what happens when you try to be someone else. You delay your whole destiny. You delay your whole destiny. Because that shoe is not meant for you. You want to be like me. And if I call one of you right here and, and, and tell you, I eat two hot chilies every day. Sometimes four, sometimes six hot burning hot chilies. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you that. I'll bring that chilies that I got there. And I'll make you stand here and I'll eat one and you eat one. And see how fast you'll run out of here. There are certain things that I can do, you can't do it. <laughs> so don't try to be like the next person. God has a special, special assignment for you. Every one of you, let's stand in the presence of God. You can make it in life. Every one of you can make it. You may be made one or two mistakes. You're not a mistake. You've got to get up now. Allow God to redirect your path. In the name of Jesus. The Lord says, watch your sons. Pray over your sons. Pray over your sons. You've got sons. Yeah, pray over your sons. This is the time that the devil wants to snatch. And, 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 and. I don't want to go in depth, but pray over your sons. Try from tonight, pray over them. Lay hands on them and pray. Mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, I cancel every works of the enemy. Every plan of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone that is here, oh God. That they shall walk in destiny. They shall walk in destiny, Father. They shall walk in destiny and they shall achieve purpose. They shall make it in life, O oh God. Whatever the canker worm and palmer worm has stolen. I pray, Father, sevenfold restoration upon everybody, Father God. Those that are online also. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your word. Thank you that you are not condemning us, O oh God. There is now therefore no condemnation to those that are in Christ. We walk, O oh God, in liberty, in grace, in freedom. Our past is our past. It's under the blood. Lord, we are not. We are held accountable for the gospel to preach to our families, but we are not accountable, O oh God, when they reject you. I 
I pray for every person of God to receive a double portion of anointing tonight. So that anointing will, it will go in their homes, in their workplace. The anointing will destroy every battle that they are fighting, every opposition they are facing in the name of Jesus. The Lord, let your glory be upon your children, Father God. In the name of Jesus, let there be a new beginning, new beginning tonight. That you will meet with them, O oh God, with a divine appointment and a divine touch. I pray for every person that is here. A double portion, O oh God, of your anointing. Release unto them, O oh God, their portion. Release their destiny. Release, O oh God, if any devil or demonic power is holding their destiny, O oh God, Lord, we cancel their power. We neutralize their power. We render them powerless by the blood of Jesus. And we take authority right now, O oh God, as for Luke 10, 19, where you have given us power to tremble over the works of the enemy, O oh God. We pray release in finances. We pray release in joy and peace. We pray release in material possessions such as cars and houses, O oh God. We pray release, O oh God, of our families that are held captive in the hands of the enemy. We pray release of promotion. We pray release of business. We pray release of increase, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, as we all agree, let's lift up our hands and let's pray for those that are affected by the floods, everybody that are homeless. Heavenly Father, we pray for those in KwaZulu-Natal in every other areas of God, Lord, that is affected and affected by the flood. I pray, Lord, your grace, your mercy, your provision, your protection be upon them. Send angels to them. Send destiny helpers to them. Send provision to them, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, miraculously, no more lives to be lost, Father God. Those that have lost life, families that are hurting, I pray, console them, Holy Spirit. Comfort them, O oh God, right now. Send, O oh God, your Holy Spirit, O oh God, to comfort them. I pray peace be upon them. Lord, for a while, close heaven, O oh God. Close the rains. Let everything subside. Let everything, O oh God, once more be restored. We are not saying you to close heaven, close the rain among us, O oh God. But I'm saying, Father God, let the rain come in measure that is needed in this country. But not in destruction, Father God. We pray for the farmers. We pray for those that have lost crops, oh God. We pray for, the, for, for all the locusts that is devouring in the Eastern Cape and Western Cape, oh God. We pray that it will stop right now. Your Holy Spirit will go right now, oh God. Lord, and put a stop to this insects, oh God. This devouring insects in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the health bill that is proposed now, that is draconian, O oh God. Lord Jesus, that is coming, O oh God, that wants to restrict and have carte blanche on the children of God. Father God, we stop it in its track in the name of Jesus. And we release your power. We release, O oh God, heaven's authority. We pray, O oh God, right now, where two or three agree on anything, it shall be done, O oh God. I pray that that you will close the mouths of those that want to implement these laws. I pray your children shall have freedom in South Africa, O oh God. Nothing, O oh God, nothing by any chance that is against your will shall go through in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus shall prevail. The blood of Jesus shall be against it. The blood of Jesus shall take control in the name 
name of Jesus. We pray heaven of God shall open up. We pray heaven angels shall come and fight our battles. Right now we pray for the dispersal of heaven's armament and heaven's angel, oh God, all over wherever there is wickedness, oh God. We pray for the peace upon South Africa. We pray for the peace upon South Africa. Raise up men and women, oh God, that will stand up and boldly declare your power and your authority and your name and your good news, oh God, in the name of Jesus. As the water covers the earth, so shall your word cover this earth, oh God. No weapon, no man, no being shall be able to stop what you have started, oh God. Flood South Africa with your peace and raise up men and women that will stand up infiltrate the colleges infiltrate the schools infiltrate the workplaces infiltrate the government infiltrate every institution of God once more let the fire burn once more let the altars be revived let family altars start again oh I pray Lord wherever you oh God people are Lord they will raise up their hands and glorify you once more send revival oh God send revival oh God in the name of Jesus nothing can stop your power nothing can stop your power let's put our hands and say thank you Jesus it shall be done it shall be so in the name of Jesus amen and amen you may be seated church I believe there was an atmosphere change as the angels are being dispersed right through everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. Church, let us meet on Friday. Friday our service is at 8.30. I'll be taking you to the cross. Powerful message. So let's meet at half past 8 on Friday and half past 8 on Sunday. That's the service times. Resurrection Sunday and Crucifixion Friday. Make sure you are here. Bring a family along. Try to bring unbelievers also. I mean, sometimes we just recycle Christians from another church. Try to bring unbelievers also. Because we need to touch unbelievers. The conference is coming up. From the 5th to the 8th, get ready. Uh, on my Facebook, I'm putting the speakers. I'm putting them individually and things uh, we will be having powerful, powerful speakers that will shift you divinely. So get ready for the conference. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's stand as we close. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, and I come with every person into your hands. I pray and I cover your children of God under the precious blood of Jesus. I pray your peace, your joy, your blessing, your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness, Lord your compassion and your blessing be upon them, sealed upon them by your blood, that they will walk in, Lord, abundance, increase, and overflow. Let them be protected and provided for all the days of their life. Let them meet destiny helpers and divine appointments as they walk out, and they shall have a testimony in the name of Jesus. God richly bless you. Amen. Walk in power and prosperity. God bless you. We invite you to become a partner in our global ministry which is touching lives and transforming situations all over the world. When you become a partner, you are investing in fertile soil and the Lord will richly reward you with heaven's best. Church banking details are on the screen. And if you'd like to sow a seed of honor, directly deposit it into Dr. Ryan's personal account. For e-wallets, APSA Cash Send, Standard Bank Instant Money or any other instant cash services, kindly use our church WhatsApp number to send the voucher number as well as collection PIN. Because when you sow in good soil, indirectly your money is going to places where you cannot go. When you partner with the Kingdom Vision, God will make sure that your needs are provided for. So sow your seed today.